Hello and welcome to Ninja Bell Reviews, and today we're going to be taking an excited look at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Leader Class Toxitron, and man, oh man, I am really, truly excited to take a look at this. Look, uh, some people may or may not like this mold, that has, in my own feelings, you know, has nothing to bear with this. For me, it's all about absolute sheer want. I have always wanted a Toxitron toy. Always. It is one character that I've missed from my collection for over a decade now. And now I have, a, I have one in my hand. Thank you very much, Ultra Megatronus. But to find this thing and to have him send it to me and for me to open it up, I was so happy. And I still am. I got to tell you, I am so happy with this figure. Sure, it still has the same problems that this mold has. But I am still so happy with what they did with this figure that good on you, Hasbro. I mean, you kind of turned me around here on, on the whole Hasbro being crap business that I was go the road got, that I was going down. But anyway, let, let's get started. We'll take a look at him and his trailer after we take a look at those instructions and that box. So let me get him out of here. We get this out of there, and we will first take a look at those instructions. And he comes with a big instruction booklet here. This is purple, and this neon green color is going on here. This is G2 Universe Toxitron Transformers, as you all know. Don't unfold this booklet to, you know, do all the things that you need to do. And it's a big old instruction booklet and how to's. And I, I've got this backwards, don't I? All right, let's. <laughs> Goes from it tells you how to go from alt mode is truck mode, truck and tanker mode. There you go. How to store his weapons and all this stuff. And yeah, man. So this is a recolor and remo uh, re yeah, basically just a recolor and reissue of the G2 Laser Optimus Prime from Legacy and the Scourge mold. So, you know, nothing really new in the mold itself. Uh, um, so, anyway, there are the instructions. We'll get those out of there. And this is the box. Uh, forgive me, I got to raise my camera up here to catch it all because it is a big box. Oops, I didn't get that lip in there or that in there, but that's okay. On the top of the box says Transformers Legacy Evolution. Man, I love this box. I'm actually going to keep this box. I usually don't keep the boxes, but I am going to keep this one because it just looks so nice. Look at that artwork, man. That is so nice, man. So that is, of course, G2 Universe Toxitron going on there. Transformers Legacy Evolution going on right there. It is a leader class. Transformers up the side. It says Generations Takara Tomy over there. Uh, A plus says Hasbro. On this side, once again, that fantastic artwork. You got some Cybertronian glyphs going on over there. Man, I, I just, I love this box, and so I'm going to keep it. I am going to keep it. And there's some artwork going on there. And there, of course, is G2 Laser Prime. Got the Nemesis going on back there. Got the Armada Optimus going on there. Some other characters, Hot Shot, etc. I'm not going to name them all. There you go. It's just, uh, man, on the back, you got G2 Universe Toxtrons. This Transformers more than meets the eye up there. Once again, I'm loving this box. You, you got the robot mode. You got the alt mode. Takes 30 steps to go either way. Comes with some accessories, which you can combine. That's their Evo Fusion, I guess, for this one figure. There you go. Shows the tractor, truck, tractor, whichever you want to call it. Both are fitting. Anyway, there's a trailer transformed into the base. I will show that off later. It says Authentic Hasbro. Corporate stuffs, corporate stuffs. That's it. I'm gonna keep this box. Spent too long, too long on that box. Anyway, I'll lower the camera back down, and we will talk about the actual figure here. And here it is. There is trailer. There it is. The bot. Now, because I have most of my collection packed away, I don't have Scourge and G2 Laser Prime here to uh, do any comparisons with. So forgive me. I'm not going to have comparisons in this video. Again, I apologize for that. But since most of my collection is still packed up, it's just not going to be possible. Anyway, here he is. And now, I keep these knee pad up as knee pads. I rather like that look for him. So that's just my thing. 
ordinarily you're supposed to flip that down but i actually like them you know up as knee pads it's a little bit of variation you know even on the box it shows them folded down but i actually like them see because in the original uh uh, uh a mold that toxitron was based on which is the the laser prime mold and that the uh, eventual uh, rid scourge mold was based upon it had knee pads on it molded into it right so this just flat and nothing going on right there doesn't really so on my toys at least on my laser prime and my scourge i keep these knee pads up to be more like the original toy so uh, um they're not going to be you know down like that so um but anyway um get that box out of there uh, yeah I, I man i love the look of this guy i really really do those bright purples and that bright green you know even with these grays it just it just even those purple tires with the black rims man i dig this toy and there is plenty of paint on this toy like i said the inside of those wheels for example right uh, uh, some of this gray is actually paint. It's not just gray plastic. It's actually paint. Uh, um, this is plastic, colored plastic here with some, I think, is that just colored? Yeah, that is. Uh, you got some paint here and here and here, all that. That's paint around there, paint there, all this paint. It's just, you know, man, so much of it. And like the other two molds, you can pop these open to reveal the inside, which is now orange. If I focus camera, there you go. That is pretty cool. I dig that. I dig that. Lots of, and that head sculpt, man. Just look at that. Eyes are kind of dead, and I, 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 you know, I wish they stood out a little bit more, but man, I dig it. All that head is painted. Every inch of it is paint, man. All that. That's not colored plastic. That is all paint. And I really, the purples, the greens, the silver, even the red eyes, that is, those are painted in. So I, I like that. I like that. And of course, it does have, you know, the, the matrix in there. And this time it's sculpted in clear orange uh, plastic. So that's pretty cool. I dig that. I just, I just, man, I just really, really, really like this guy. He is focused. There you go, camera. Thank you. It's just really, really nice. I, I like those pink windows. Got that nice G2 Decepticon logo going on there. It's really, really nice, man. I, I, man, I am so happy with this iteration. Sure, that could be, you know, filled in a bit more. I'm sure there's already upgrade kits out there for it. So, close that up. I'm just, I am really really happy with this use of the mold i i've said so and if you look at my g2 laser prime review and you look at my scourge review all i've talked about is the possibility of getting a toxitron out of this mold and here we are i mean seriously i i mentioned it two or three times during those reviews uh, on this on this mold that i really really wanted to see a toxitron i mean this this was it's almost a, a holy grail for me. It's it really is. Uh, um, it's just one of those toys I've always wanted. I've never had a chance to own, and now here it is. Once again, thanks, Ultra Megatron. So that is the robot mode. Let's talk about the articulation. There is nothing changed in the mold with articulation. His head does look up, does look down. You get a bit of attitude there, so does swivel all the way around, right? So the shoulders will move like this, get up and out of the way. These will get up out of the way to give you plenty of clearance, but still only goes 90 degrees. It's still disappointing, but it is what it is. So you get that out to the side, you get on a soft ratchet forward, and you got, of course got to move that bit there to get it out of the way. So that I still I still have a problem with this. I wish it was more attached to. Uh, uh, the arms, the way the original toy had it, that way these could move with the arms. But, you know, it is what it is there. So, anyway, you got it out to the side. You got forward. 
you got back, it'll go that far. So, you know, not much past 90 degrees. If you move this out of the way, you can get a little past 90. Same with forward. So, you know, um, about 93 degrees of rotation there anyway. So you got a swivel going on up there. Mine likes to pop off, so I have to kind of shove it back in place on that mushroom peg because that is a mushroom peg and mine whenever it swivels it tends to want to pop off i'll probably have to there's probably a burr on that mushroom head so i'll probably have to go in there and clean that up and i won't have that problem anymore so anyway arms 90 degree bend there at the elbow did i mention that yeah i talked about that and you do have a wrist swivel so that's pretty cool too uh, uh, you do have a waist swivel on mine it is a little loose i will say that but otherwise, it's okay. It's okay. Let's same thing on the other side. Got that? No real, you know, uh, teapot, you know, abdomen bend. Nothing like that to to do here. Anyway, legs will kick out that far, kick forward that far, kick back that far. So you know, got a nice swivel going on there. Knees a little above 90 degrees. I say we give it to them. So there you go. We got that. And again, I like to keep those out as knee pads, a la the original toy. Uh, um, your feet do have a rocker, not a great deep one, but enough. And you got some toe tilt down if you want it, and you got some heel down if you want it. So, you know, plenty posable, plenty for what it is, as you saw probably in my thumbnail for this review. So, you know, you can get it to look really, really good in photographs. I'm not the best photographer. I, I, I'm right here. I'm here to tell you I'm not. I've seen amazing photos out there, and I'm not one of them. But I think I did a pretty good job on that thumbnail. You can let me know down in the comments. Anyway, but yeah, so that's that. So we'll move him off to the side and we'll talk about his trailer. And I dig it. Now, I do wish there was a bit more of the, you know, toxic sludge paintwork going on on this. But I do like that all black trailer. Once again, painted rims and on that purple plastic. And it is one whole solid piece of pur uh, purple plastic. So they painted inside those rims. Appreciate that Hasbro really appreciate that otherwise it's a black trailer got some purple going on up here across the top and we'll talk about the uh, three accessories in a moment so this is the trailer back here you got gray going on i don't mind that so much some people complain that they wanted this black too i do not mind this being gray i don't mind that at all so uh, um oh maybe you like to have some you know silver you know bits of silver on here you know like a real tanker truck would have but you know otherwise oh well, not truck but tanker trailer so uh pardon me on that anyway but this folds up so you can then you know put it on attach it to the tractor the truck tractor whatever you want to call it so you got that and of course it plays a role in his base mode which we will take a look at right now you fold that up you swing that around go ahead and swing that out you swing that out just like so and then you split it and I'm gonna raise this camera up here a bit pardon me adjusting adjusting there we go and so then fold down that ramp fold this down and around and fold that up and there you have his base mode quote unquote base mode and it also reveals you know his three accessories which is these we've seen them before in both of the previous use of the mold and this is also removable so you have that which also is an accessory so let's talk about those this is of course his cannons going on up here you got some ports there if you wish to utilize something with them so you got that going on uh you can if i'm not mistaken focus Come on, focus on that clear plastic. Sometimes it has a problem doing so, but you can. Um, I forget which side it is. There we go. If I can get it in there. Mm. Boom, you can attach that to that axe if you so wish. So let's get that out of there. Boy, that's really tight in there. Eh, eh. Be right back. I'm back, and I got another part. So this is the axe quote unquote axe focus there you go thank you very much camera and of course it's made out of green clear plastic and soft tabs in the places you heard there's that dupe there you go and yeah i mean i i dig it i dig it comes with it also with his sword focus there you go 
is the same molded details, just done in clear green plastic now. So, there you go, and it, much like the axe, you can, if you want, attach a gun to it. And, of course, then you can attach this to this. Mind you, there is a little tab there that you must be aware of. So, when you insert it into the axe, insert it into the axe here. Let me get rid of that first. And there we go. So, stick that into there. You got that. And then, if you wanted, you could, you know, stick this onto there and give it the triple threat there. But, yeah, that's that's the weapon. And, of course, he can hold all three individually. There, there, There's that. So, there you go. If you want it. And, of course, if you want, he does have ports for that. There on the side, on the bottom of his feet. So, each, each side of his leg, he has one. Um, technically, those are, are ports, but I don't know why you'd want to use them for that because those are actually like, you know, laser cannons or toxic cannons or whatever they're called. Uh, um, you do have one there on the top of the tractor trailer, uh, tractor topper there. You got two back here in the back, one on under each forearm. So, you know, you got many places to store those weapons should you choose. And the trailer here is, again, same use of the mold. Nothing changed here, nothing big, nothing drastic. Full molded detail, though, which I always appreciate. And, you know, of course, you have this repair bay thing gimmick going on. And I, I I always felt the trailer was a bit of a letdown. This time, is it is, you know, still kind of a letdown. But, you know, it, it is what, what it is. And, uh, you know, some people don't like people saying that during the review. But there you go. So, uh, I'm just, I'm loving the whole thing. I, I love the colors of this, you know. And... This, I guess, could be considered a separate accessory, you know, since you can remove it, but, you know, and technically he can, you know, kind of hold this, uh, um, if you wanted, you could do that, um, let's see here, uh, forget how you do it, I, I, I saw, uh, somebody had this as some sort of cannon, because of, you know, that thing right there, I saw, I saw somebody's images, of somebody, you know, him holding this as some sort of cannon under his arm via that port. Um, if I can get it. Boy, oh boy. Or was it on this side? I forget. Give me a second here. Um, I'm trying to remember the images I saw. but I saw some images of somebody having this. I, maybe it was this forearm. I don't know. I just saw somebody having this plugged in under under the forearm, and I thought it re looked really, really cool. There is, you know, sort of a toxic sludge, you know, cannon going on there. So, you know, that's pretty cool, I guess. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, I, I, I'm, man, I'm, I'm, re I'm really digging this mold. Man, I, I'm just, I'm having so much fun with this thing. I, I you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, you know getting my hands on it daily you know it's just it's, it's a great toy I, I love this iteration this use of the mold and so you know it, it's really really man I, I just i dig it so much and of course you could close this all up you know if you wanted and not have that in there entirely up to you it's your toy do with it as you wish well you know come on and of course, you know, has all, all, all these ports. It's got uh, four on each side and one right there in the middle. So, tons. And then you got the pegs where the shield and the sword can tap in. So, you know, hey, it's it's man, it's it's all good. It's all good. You, you utilize it. It's your toy. You know, play with it as, as, as you wish. It's all good. Fold this all up. There we go. There we go. And that's the trailer. It's just. I dig this. I dig this whole thing. So this has been my look, man. I just, wow. I'm, I'm so impressed with this. I, you know, they could have went with a lot less than that that they did here, and I'm so happy they went to the lengths that they did. I'm so happy to finally have a Toxitron in my collection. I just, I cannot express just how I happy I am to have this. I, I just, it really, really, really just is amazing so thanks for watching thanks for listening make sure you check out my playlist please please click that like button it really really helps my channel grow uh leave a comment uh, um should be a, a patreon link in the description below if you feel like donating channel and above everything else 
be good to each other. Real quick, I guess I, I found the trailers for for Laser Prime and Scourge. So, you know, I, I guess I could, you know, compare those. So, you know, uh, put them in order they were released. So, you know, G2 Laser Prime, there's Scourge, and there's, of course, there's Toxitron, you know. So for a quick, you know, uh, 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 look at those. There we go. Yeah, so, you know, at least I found those, but I haven't found the tote that the primes are in. <laughs> so I thought I'd marked them. I guess I didn't. Now, I forgot to talk about all the ports that are on this. You got one port on each side. You got two up front. I think there's, yeah, two on the back as well. So, uh, um, And, of course, all these, you know, if you want to pull those off, all, all of the, you know, uh, um, accessories, whether it be primes, <clears throat> blue ones there, um, I think scourges were red, if I'm not mistaken, or pink. There you go. So, you know, uh, and of course his were, were the green. So, you know, um, you can utilize these trailers with each one of the molds or the or the accessories. So, you know, you, you, you got your pick, you know, the blue, the pink, or the green. So, totally up to you how you want to utilize that. Just thought I'd throw that in here.